Uh, it wasn't it hasn't it wasn't our best show jumping round. Um, he actually came out a bit too a bit friskier than I was anticipating today. Um, uh, finished really well yesterday, and he's obviously feeling so pleased with himself. And he just got a little bit strong in there and had a few rails, which is disappointing because he's normally a really good jumper on the last day. Uh, well, it's a plus in one way because it means he's you know he had enough energy, but he's um, he's quite big anyway, and actually he just got a little bit kind of strong. And I think with the undulations in that arena, it's not 100% flat, um, so like a really good show jumping test but he kind of slightly ran away with it a little bit and um, I yeah struggled to kind of help him to keep his balance and and then yeah didn't it wasn't quite as smooth as I would have liked I mean it's so tough on them you, it really shows the event horses um, they've just got such amazing hearts to come out and and also to be so careful they've got to be brave as lions out there across country and with you and you know going off any kind of shot just you know finding their feet across country and then to go in there and be so precise over the falling down rails you know it's amazing that they they try their hardest for us and um, come out wanting to do it well I'm thrilled to have completed my first burley <laughs> um, you know I'm really well aware that that's not so, that's something that not everybody gets to do so I feel very very lucky and very privileged to be on a homebred horse particularly who I've had such an amazing time learning curve doing all these things with and yes we didn't finish and the you know I'd have like I knew I had an outside chance of being in the top 10 but we didn't do that but it's just it's still fantastic completing and I'm gonna have gained such a lot of experience from that.